what's up my shining stars i hope you're shining bright not letting anybody down that light now this is a bonus read i'm not gonna go on my normal normal spiel but i will and i have to always acknowledge my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time always gotta acknowledge you you've been rocking with me so i thank you mwah, mwah, mwah. I thank you my new subscribers, thank you. My energy exchange, donations, tips, I thank you. On the flip side, I have to, have to give you, I have to say what I got to say to the flip side. Flip side, um, but wait a minute, let me go back. Let me flip it back over to energy exchange just know what you sow into this channel you shall reap 10 10 20 100 fold right back at you okay it's gonna come right back at you i got to put that out there right so back to the flip side flip side if you hating send an evil eye if you coming and clicking on this channel just to see if your magic worked let me just let you know. Sitting on the throne. Okay? Looking good like I should. Ain't gonna stop. Can't stop. And won't stop. Nothing here. You can manipulate the numbers. You can manipulate the not notifications. But this right here. Is anointed, I'm appointed, and there it is. Whatever you, whatever you do, you go ahead and you do it. You go right ahead and you do what you do. You're not affecting me. This is not the be all end all. I'm not money driven. I have a belief system in me that whatever whatever i have to do i'm gonna do it money with money without money whatever i have been through a lot so whatever you trying to do whatever you thinking you doing sending uh the evil eye trying to manipulate trying to do this channel trying to come at me my family my vehicle whatever it is that you're trying to do just know, it ain't work. It's not going to work. I am protected. I am protected. There will be no weapon formed against me that shall prosper. None. So whatever it is that you clicking on here and you thinking that you, you trying to find out what's going on, just know. Just know that everything is good on this end. Your days is numbered. Even if you think you cloaked, they already know. They know your name. They know your number. Because you don't realize who you're dealing with. So, you go ahead and you continue to do what you do. And when I get tired, then all I got to do is lift my hand up. Lift my hand up and tell them I'm tired. I'm trying to give you a chance to know or to understand what you're doing to change the dynamics. So you can change your life. Make some personal decisions that you need to make. So, with all of that being said, it is so, so be it in our shay. We are honoring the sign of Taurus. I don't have my cards today, guys. So, you, um, I decided to, you were not one of the highest. However, I decided to do a Taurus read because... I know that if the notifications had went out like they were supposed to be, you would you would have showed out. So 
I'm going to go ahead and do this read for you. Okay. Now, I just did Scorpio's reading. And it was, you know, one of them, I don't even know. Because I'm just reading the cards and letting, letting whatever come out, come out. So, based off of these cards, it's, it, these readings, it's, this energy, the energy is shifting. And as it shifts, these people that have been doing this magic, doing this, doing this trolling and doing all this unnecessary stuff, these people that's doing these things are really really in a in a bad way and it shows in these cards okay so this person i'm gonna do the messages they're bitter this person is bitter because you don't want them this person is bitter because you've made it you've walked away from them. This person is bitter because you want to they you won't allow them to manipulate and use and abuse you anymore. This person is upset and bitter. You won't give me a chance to use you like I just said. So I am paying someone to sabotage your life. So this person is trying to sabotage you. Still, after every all of these return to senders, all of this stuff, because the magic that these people were sending, the confusion spells, all of this stuff that they, these people are sending is returning back to them. When it returns back to them, then they are whatever it is that they was their intentions for you. It turns and it's it turns on to them right so that means that if they sent you confusion spells and it returned back then they confused if they sent death spells that means that that when it comes back to them they get you know they could get sick or get in an accident it could be anything that could happen this stuff here people think that they can continue to play and it's not real it is real however it is a projected it is a person that projects and sins and 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 bends and trying to bind and they do all the and then it's a protected it this is what this is about one side is to protect is to project it and one side is to protect it okay so within this whole thing you and you guys already know because i've already talked to you about those two aspects two groups right here this is right okay so this person is bitter <laughs> they bitter because they want you they want to be with you but they not right it's not real. It's not love. It's not real. It's this person wants to be with you for superficial reasons to use you. It's something that they want from you. It's something that they want to take from you, or they just want to be with you and ride out and ride out until you could become successful. Or they have got, uh, they know something. They know something about you spiritually. They know that you're going to be wealthy. They know you're going to be successful. They know that something is going to happen with you and they want to be with you so they can continue to use you. But you have cut this person off. You have cut them off. You're not letting, you're not allowing them to, to, to take, take your energy. You're not giving them your time. You're not giving them no effort. And that's a problem for this person. It's a problem. They had a plan and they had a they had a plan and they had a purpose to be in your life. It says, I'm so in love with you. You could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You could be a fire sign. Okay. You make me feel whole. Then I I'm in awe of you. You make them feel whole because your energy, you're in when this person is with you, 
They, they, they consume your energy. They can live off they, that you are limited. You, you are a energy source. You are a light pole. You full of light because your light is to shine and to help humanity. It doesn't matter what you say or what you do. You could just, it's just your presence. It's just your light. You can light people up. This person knows it, has experienced it, but you have took your light and removed it from out of this person's uh, uh, view. They can't feel your light. They can't see your light. You have blocked this person. Now they have, they feel like they have nothing. And now it says, my karmic is nothing like you. She just don't compare. He just don't compare to greatness. I am just realizing what a gift you are. See, this person abused you. They have a karmic. They have a karmic. They left you, abused you, took your energy, gave it to the karmic, you know, uh, walked away from you, ghosted you, went off and had children with other people. Whatever, whatever the case is, whatever your story is, everybody got a story. And it's, some is similar, some is not. Fit it in where it get in. But this here, this person is not right. You walked away. This person even got a karmic and probably is married to a karmic, but still want to hold you and hold hold your energy, hold you, uh, 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 hold you up, and they still involved with somebody else. They still stuck in a marriage, a loveless marriage at that. They don't love that person. They stuck. All right, so your overall energy, it, um, was this the overall? Yeah, uh, is winter, right? It's in reverse. So the overall energy is here. Is, is this person, like I said, that's that's the, the, the message. But what is actually going on here? This person is in the cold. You've, you've blocked this person. You've went on with your life. You want you don't want to have anything to do with this person. And this first, this person wants to come out of the cold with you. They want to uh, mend this. They want to. Um, they just want to come out. They want to come out of the cold. They want to talk to you, communicate with you. They want to um, patch things up with you. You know, but it's not going to, I don't think this is going to happen because this person really is a hater. This is, a, this is one of your haters. This person was an ex, was a person you was with. This could be a friend. Um, oh, this some says somebody's in love with you. This could be three different people. Somebody that's bitter. Um, uh, somebody that's in love with you and, uh, and, uh, somebody that's messing, that still, uh, is married or is still in a, a relationship, but you got haters here and they want to come out of the cold with you. You have blocked these people. You've walked away. You've, you've not dealing with these people and these people won't back in. They won't back in, you know, you cold to these people and you turned your back. Because you already know these people has been hating on you, gossiping, lying on you, whatever the case may be. All right. So, we have the altar. Okay. Somebody has an altar. I don't know if it's you, Taurus, or is if, it, if this is another person. Somebody has an altar, but this altar that they have, Um, they're not tending to it. They're not, they're not, they're not tending to an altar. It's some kind of, okay, so what am I getting off of this? Uh, somebody was doing, doing magic. Someone was trying to manipulate a situation. But somebody's ancestors, somebody's, um, it, it all, it all, it, it, see, you have family betrayal. This is ancestors. You got commitment. So, so 
somebody's commitment, somebody's marriage. So we was just talking about marriage with this karmic. So somebody's marriage, somebody, somebody's, betray, somebody's portrayed. Some, this is somebody's ancestors that was involved because somebody woke something up and they're not, they try to use and to manipulate the ancestors, the, the, the spiritual realm. They're trying to manipulate some type of, um, solicit some type of help or something, uh, concerning your ancestors. And it well, what has ha what has happened is is family betrayal, and it, of, of some type of commitment. It's something going on with this. Hmm. This this not right. They woke something up. They woke something up. Mm mm. And whatever they woke up, it ain't right. It's not right. It brought whatever this 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 is, it brought shame. Shame, betrayal, loss. Um, if somebody was married and was in a commitment, all of that all happened because of something that this person conjured up. Something they conjured up. And I got, you have extra cards here that came out. This person, this person is not protected. They conjured up something with this altar. They conjured up something and they're not protected. They're not protected. It's, it's right here. Whatever they conjured up, and they did it with candle magic. It was returned. Whatever it is that they did, it was returned. And it came back to them because they're not protected. And that's where all of this family betrayal, everything broke loose. Everything came out. Whatever was hidden came out. The commitment that they was in. Everything came out about a commitment and a family betrayal. All of it came out because they conjured up something that they shouldn't have conjured up. They woke up something that they shouldn't have woke up. They touched something. They they opened up something that they never should have opened up. And this right here happened. Now, I don't know who it's for, who, or what. This person wasn't grounded. This person was, was not grounded. Somebody else... Whatever they conjured up, they conjured up for another individual, okay? Somebody conjured up, somebody did something, and all hell broke loose, right? This looked like one big tower. Somebody brought the tower because they were a hater of somebody else that's minding their business, doing whatever they got to do, but they, they was hating on that person. So they went and conjured up something, okay? Um... But what they didn't understand was this person was grounded. Or this could very well be an earth sign that's doing this or who has woke something up. But the truth is going to, they, they wanted the truth. The truth is going to come out. So what I'm getting from this is that somebody, an earth sign who is grounded, wanted to know the truth. So they conjured up something and all hell broke loose. Everything came out. The truth came out. And it hit those people who was doing that magic and was not protected. The reason why this person is not protected is because they're not they're not protected because it's, I want to say because they're in spiritual jail. It was a king of pentacles. So an earth sign. A king of pentacles could be any earth sign. Right? As far as I'm concerned. It was an earth sign that wanted to know the truth. 
So he went to his ancestors. But whatever he opened up or whatever he conjured up, it spilt everything. The ancestors told everything. It revealed everything. This person was, was in a place, a low place, where they just wanted to know the truth. Everybody was lying. Everything was hidden. But everything is now in order. These messages, right, is from somebody in this group. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, okay. Well, we got little cards here. Let me see if I can get anything else. What's going on with this altar? Tell me more about this altar. Tell me more about this altar. Please and thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, when I said tell me about this altar, we got light worker. So what I'm getting from this this make this is even though this deck have an ancestor, this just get I'm I'm just this deck has answers and, and that didn't come out, but I just really feel like somebody was dedicated. Somebody was really dedicated to sabotaging and dedicated to, to this this magic. But this is, it says, when I say this, it says a light worker. Oh. Okay, look. It says a light worker, and it says, I am sick, and I want to tell you. Please help. So, this... Somebody was dedicated, and, and 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 it went back to them. Okay, they was dedicated doing this, doing this, doing this, doing this. Um, it all came out. The truth came out about a family commitment. Okay, but you have a light worker here. You have a light worker. Somebody that's grounded. Somebody that is rooted. Somebody that's you know and it could be an earth sign okay but the truth about this light worker came out this all of this truth came out but it also this altar also told about this light worker this person was sick and it made it made this person sick when they found out about who this light worker was this light worker is this person. I don't, the light worker is grounded and rooted. This is the light worker. And the truth came out about this light worker as well as all of this stuff. It's, it's, it, I, I, it, I keep, and it keeps telling me, okay. So this here is these people's, um, their magic, their uh, ancestors, who they work in, who they conjured. Um, this may be conjuring. This person conjured on the altar. They conjured up an entity, and the entity told this person all about, told the truth about these people. Um, they, this entity, uh, uh, told them uh, about. The family betrayal, the commitment, the, uh, the uh, everything about this light worker. What they know about this light worker, this light worker, they told the truth that this person can probably heal this person. Somebody, they got sick. Somebody is sick because of all the things that they sent to you and it was returned back to them. Now they want your help. 
because now the truth has come out that you are a light worker, you are a healer. And with this card right here, looking at grounding, you will ground, you can ground, you can heal. You can, you can take from somebody else and ground yourself and heal this situation. They did all of this and at the end of the day, they need your help. The altar is, the altar is not like this. The altar is like this. So that means whatever they conjured up, it's not good. It's not good. Whatever they woke up, whatever they conjured, whatever they did, it's not good for them. This right here, yeah. But this, it's not, it's not working good for them. Everything they sent, it returned back to them. And all hell has broken loose and all hell is breaking loose. And Taurus, fit it in where you get it in. All right? I'm going to stop it there. It's a short little read. I'm going to stop it there, okay? But if this is your situation and you find yourself sick and you find yourself in a situation, you need to address this to the divine. You are in this situation because you have done something that you have no business doing and the only person that's going to be able to help you is the divine. You're going to have to sit down and you're going to have to get yourself together to get back grounded, rooted in your own self with the divine. It's you and him. It's you and the divine. That's it. You and God. You and God. Because this person is not going to be able to heal you without permission. You've done too much. If this person come in and heal you, then it may, it may, mess, it may jeopardize what they got going on. So, they're not going to touch you. But the divine can heal you just like that. You got to get up there. You got to you gotta get it. You got to get it. You made this. You did this. And now you got to suffer the consequences for it. But, at the end of the day, there is hope. Because the divine is a loving, loving, loving God. A forgiving God. A God of grace and mercy. Acknowledge him. Go to him. Talk to him. Even if you're not religious. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about the most high God. The divine, the universe. That's what we're talking about. Make your petition known unto the God. The most high God. Not this light worker. The most high God. All right? So I'm going to stop it there. Guys, hit the comments. Hit the emojis. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Just thumbs the video. Right? It helps the channel. Right? Share, share, share. Subscribe. Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, all in the description box. The description box if you're here for the first time. Make sure you hit the notifications. We have a problems with the notifications. They're not sending the videos out. But you know what? I'm still all right. I'm still all right. Sending you love. Sending you healing. And Trinity is out.